Hello everyone, my name is Master Blake. Welcome back to another video. Today I will be making a video on how to stream Wizard101 on Twitch. So let's get right into it. So the very first step to doing this is you're going to want to install the program Open Broadcast Software. This is a program I will be showing you how to set up and use for streaming. Now, when you want to download it, go to download and choose your system. I am a Windows, so download OBS and it will start downloading. If you are a Mac, just download the Mac version and it should download, same with Linux. Alright, so once you open up OBS, it'll look something like this without this. You're not going to have anything yet, so it'll just be a black screen, so don't worry about that. Click Add a Scene, and click um, Streaming. I'll click OK. I already have mine set up here. Um, and you'll have your first scene. It'll still be black because you need to add, you need to add more, multiple sources. Right now, I'm using this monitor capture to capture my GIF monitor right here in, in this tutorial. You are going to want to create a game capture. A game capture is used to create um, capture games only. So, if you click out of Wizard 101, it'll still capture Wizard 101, which is a great feature. So, enter Wizard 101, click Stretch Image to Screen, and make sure to choose it. By the way, you have to have Wizard 101 open for this to show up on the options. So, make sure you do. Now, Wizard 101 should be good. And if you click on Wizard 101, it should show up on your screen. Now, this is already good for you, but you can't stream. Um, if you would like a more advanced tutorial on how to add overlays and chat in the stream, you can just leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to add a part two. Before we start your streaming, I'm going to get into the encoding options. Usually what I do for my encoding on recordings, I use 6,000 bit rate. This all depends. You can mess around and find whichever one you like. I usually use around 6,000 bit rate for my recording. And for my streaming, I use around 2,000. Now, the bit rate is lower for streaming because it's it requires a faster connection. And having a higher quality is sometimes not good in Twitch because it would lag your stream a lot, so 2000 is still a good quality while having it fast paced, which is very nice. Um, now, for the audio, I don't really mess around with any of this. Uh, just pick your uh, audio device. I have the Boost Noble in right now, which is recording most right now. Your resolution, you don't need to mess around with that. Any of this, blah blah. Um, you can mess around with any of this if it's bothering you. Mute, unmute, mic. Um, I don't have a mute button on my microphone, so this is very useful. It's F11 for me. And now that you got your settings set up, I think it's time for you to start streaming. Go into your, go into your broadcast soft settings. Now it's gonna ask you for a multiple multitude of different things. Now you sh you should choose Twitch and whichever one is closest to you. Or whichever one pops up, that's what I did. <laughs> Make sure it's live stream Twitch and go to your Twitch website. Now, when you log into Twitch, you're gonna have to go to your your uh, dashboard. Now, once you go to your dashboard, you're gonna have a stream key here. Click on this stream key and it'll show this. Now, click show key, copy that long pa uh, copy and paste, and paste it into right here. Now. Do not do not show the stream key to anyone else because they could stream on your website. Now, um, that's pretty much all you need to know. You can click start streaming and it should broadcast your stream into your Twitch page. Um, and everything should be good. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to stream on Twitch with Wizard101. Um, if you need any more advanced tutorials, just ask me and I am happy to help. Um, I know some people were asking me on Twitch, so this is why I made this video. I hope it helps you. And, as always, have a wonderful day.